Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something insanely cool to take a look at, as we have a model from a sculptor that we have never had the pleasure of actually taking a look at here on Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and I do apologize if I mispronounce his name, but this is actually by Ruben Fonseca, and he is the owner and operator of S Art, and he sculpts some of the absolute most beautiful Jurassic Park, Jurassic World inspired dinosaur models that I've ever seen. And in fact, I've been kind of a uh, fan of his work for quite some time now. I've been following a lot of the models that he creates through his Instagram account and again, some super impressive stuff, some of which you can actually see here as we have some images here of some of his other work, one of which is actually an Albertosaurus that is based on the Mattel version. So that's really cool, something I definitely never expected to see. But on top of that, we've also got some others like the Diablos Rex, as well as uh, one that I really like actually here is the Gallimimus. And on top of the Gallimimus, there's another one here that I think is phenomenal by him, which is the Therizinosaurus. I think he's doing a super, super good job on that Therizinosaurus. And, of course, my favorite dinosaur of all time, the Carnotaurus he has also created, and he actually has sculpted out a baby Stegosaurus. Now, another dinosaur that you can quite clearly see we are looking at today is a baby Triceratops. Now this Triceratops is quite clearly based on the Jurassic Park version of a baby Triceratops and this will be for sale along with the baby Stegosaurus actually that we had just taken a look at. But he has a very limited amount of models like this that he's going to kind of be like, you know, selling repeatedly, whereas he's usually working off of commissions. So basically what you can do is contact him and commission him to create and sculpt pretty much any dinosaur from the Jurassic franchise. And he would be absolutely happy to, of course, help you out with that. And, uh... You know, sculpt you out a custom dinosaur, but you could see that this Triceratops is so nice, like it perfectly recreates that kind of Jurassic Park style baby Triceratops. You have that really, really nicely painted eye, but just in general, the entire thing has a beautiful appearance to it. Extremely highly detailed, really, really nice looking paintwork. On top of that, again, it is about as screen accurate as it can get for a baby Jurassic Park style Triceratops. So it looks really good here. And I'm beyond happy to have one of his models again, finally here to enter into my collection. And I'm even more excited to go ahead and get a closer look at it with you guys right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Triceratops, you can straight away see again that the actual fine detail is super nicely done. We have some beautiful looking skin texture all throughout the entire face. And you can see a lot of different varying styles of skin texture like if you look up here toward the snout of the triceratops you can see again a very very nice looking skin texture but as you lead under the eye you can see that we have a nice scaling here but then as you lead up into the frill you can again see up there that we have a much finer style of kind of scaling so a lot of really nice looking texturing a lot of nice detailing here to the head sculpt of the triceratops you can also see we've got some beautiful fine detail here in the beak of the Triceratops. He's also painted it out with a really, really nice, kind of like a light greenish tone. And then there's also a nice transition to a dark tip for the tip of the beak, which looks really good. And again, we have nice kind of cracks and crevices in there. And he's given a nice gloss coat to the beak. And the gloss coat is like perfectly applied where it's not overly powerful and uh, is basically the type of shininess I would have expected to have seen on the beak of a triceratops and you can also see that as you lead up here into the horns of course are very small horns you can see there as well have been given that kind of gloss coat they also support all the cracks and crevices that you would like to see and you can obviously see he's applied a nice dark wash to highlight those areas very nicely the nostrils sculpted out very nicely and also highlighted with a darker tone and you can see we have some variations of greens included here on the face of the triceratops there's also a nice brownish tone as you lead there into the eye socket and a really nicely painted eye. You can see a beautiful, beautiful gloss coat on that eye. It is shining so nicely. As you lead up into the frill of our Triceratops, again, you can see all sorts of really nice looking scale detail, all sorts of really nice looking skin texture, as well as a lighter tone that kind of runs around the outer edge of the frill of the Triceratops. And you can also see that we have the little spikes and stuff that run along the outer edge of the frill, each and every one painted pretty much to perfection. The paintwork and sculpt work is incredible. And of course, 
all of that was done by Reuben. As you lead down here to the underside, first of all, you can see some variation of browns, but then you also get kind of like a nice, like, light dry brushing, almost like a white, but sort of like a mixture of like a white and a yellowish tone. But there's like a yellowish wash that's been applied underneath as well, again, just to give some nice color variation. As you lead up here into the body, you can see that we have those classic Jurassic Park style kind of like scoots running along the side of the dinosaur. Again, something that when it comes to a Jurassic Park style triceratops you absolutely expect to see and he has captured that perfectly here on the back as well as again more really nice looking skin texture and also some variation of color as I'm definitely picking up on variations of greens and even kind of like a dark wash that's been applied to add even more color variation. We've also got some more osteoderms poking up here and there throughout the course of the body of the triceratops again more variation as far as the scale detail goes you can see the skin bunching up here in the lower part of the stomach because both legs are kind of scrunching that skin up there very nicely we've got a very adorable little triceratops leg here moving down the front of the leg as you lead down you've got a nice looking foot sculpt as well as some nicely sculpted and painted nails down there you've got creasing in the ankle as well as the joint of the elbow right there and you can also lead up here and see that we have the spinal column highlighted very nicely moving along the back of the triceratops you also can see the thigh sculpted very nicely right here as you move down you've got the kneecap right there in the front and again another adorable little foot sculpt here on the rear leg and then you lead out the length of the tail and you can see more variation of color with browns yellows sort of off whites and then of course the greens as we see those scoots kind of run all the way down the tail and that's pretty much the same thing for the opposing side you're not really going to see too much difference between the two different sides again gorgeous head sculpt over here absolutely perfect looking paintwork on both sides of the triceratops and you have almost the same positioning as you move out through the course of the body but you can see a slight turn to the head a slight right turn giving us an opportunity to see a little bit more of the detailing here in the neck and throat region of this side more so than we saw on the initial side but also you can see that the legs are in a slightly different position the front leg is back a little bit whereas the rear leg is forward a little bit compared to what we see on the opposing side but all the same style of detail all the same amount of incredibly nice paintwork here on this side and again it just is one of the absolute most beautiful baby triceratops figures I've ever seen and definitely the single most screen accurate version well I guess screen accurate technically the baby triceratops didn't appear in Jurassic Park so I shouldn't really say screen accurate but it's definitely one of the most accurate representations of what a Jurassic Park style baby triceratops looks like and uh, again absolutely nailed it he did a great great job on this as far as a size goes for our baby triceratops you are looking at lengthwise about five and a half inches or 14 centimeters and then height wise about two and three quarter inches or 17 centimeters for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line next to our baby triceratops from s art and you can see again it looks super super nice next to these other figures like i would definitely say even higher quality than what we see with mr papo rex who is a very beloved figure when it comes to the dinosaur collecting community or at least for most people anyway but uh you can definitely see also that it sports a pretty good size like it's not super small but it's not super large being a baby triceratops you wouldn't expect it to be massive but it's definitely a little bit bigger i think than you would expect for a baby triceratops which in my opinion is definitely a good thing and to show you that for another comparison there is a mattel minifigure ceratosaurus as well as a Toy Monster International's, you know, standard size captives Giganotosaurus next to our Triceratops. And you can see the Triceratops is definitely a bit larger than these minifigures here. But for another comparison, there is the baby Triceratops from Rebor next to our S art version. And you can definitely see again that the S art version is quite a bit larger than the Rebor version. But for another comparison, when it comes to baby dinosaurs, we also have the baby Bumpy right here, which you can see is a pretty similar size overall to this Triceratops. Not too far off. The Triceratops definitely is a little bit bigger, but a very similar size nonetheless. And for one final comparison, we also have the Mattel Battle Damage version of the Triceratops, the smaller version of the Triceratops. So you can definitely see again, they're pretty similar. Obviously, the Mattel version's a little bit longer because it's more kind of trying to recreate like an adult style Triceratops 
and obviously the S art version here is more of a baby, but you can see again if you happen to have the old battle damage style Triceratops from Mattel, roughly what the size is of this version. So this S art version of the Triceratops is incredible. Again, perfectly in my opinion, recreating what a Jurassic Park style baby Triceratops looks like. Honestly, looking like they just grabbed it straight out of a Stan Winston concept art image and brought it to me right here and placed it before me. The sculpt is phenomenal, like super nicely done when it comes to the fine detail. On top of that, super nicely done when it comes to the accuracy department. Like it really, again, does look exactly as a Jurassic Park style Triceratops looks as far as a baby goes. And again, is easily the best interpretation that I've ever seen of it, which is something that S Art is very good at. They're very, very good at creating incredibly highly detailed models, but in a really, you know, screen accurate sort of a way. But he's given this, again, a lot of really nice detail throughout, as well as the nice detail, a lot of really nice paintwork, very nice, careful and precise paintwork. That's one thing that's really cool about, you know, purchasing a model from S Art is the fact that you get it sculpted and painted by the original artist, which isn't something that you always get. And on top of that, again, like I had stated earlier, he is open to commissions, and that's mostly what he does would be commission work. So you would basically contact him and get a quote for a dinosaur that you would want sculpted by him. He would sculpt it, paint it, ship it your way. Of course, he can sculpt it out in any scale you want. So you have a lot of different options to choose from. Pretty much, you know, endless possibilities if you want to hire him to sculpt out a dinosaur for you. But again, as far as this particular Triceratops goes, he will be actually selling these. Again, a very limited run of these baby Triceratops. So absolutely something worth picking up if you are interested in grabbing one of these on top of the incredibly nice paintwork on top of the incredibly nice appearance to the triceratops he's also added a little bit of life to it as well with the nice curve in the tail a little tilt in the head a slight right turn to the head and it just again is really adorable overall like it is definitely a type of dinosaur i just want to run up and give a big hug to because he just looks so cute so honestly when it comes to a dinosaur model when it comes to a Jurassic Park style model this is pretty much as good as it gets if you ask me especially when it comes to a baby Triceratops so if you are interested in this Triceratops or getting yourself some commission work done by S Art I will include a link in the description to their Instagram account as well as their email address so if you are interested again utilize one of those two options and you know, contact him to get yourself some work done or to get yourself this Triceratops. One way or another, I really recommend his work. Definitely an awesome addition to my collection. So make sure you contact him. Make sure you pick up either this Triceratops or just get yourself an incredible customized model. And make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.